This is Ian from Easy Genie. Today I'm going to be talking about ethnicity estimates from Ancestry, 23andMe, and other services that use genetic genealogy to kind of determine where your ancestors may have came from or what, what your background is. And of course, people are really interested in this because it can give them insights into where their people came from, even if the paper record doesn't exist. But there's a big problem with these particular records, as I'm going to talk about right now. So this particular uh, record is from 23andMe about six years ago and it's for a relative of mine who got tested and it interestingly called out this section of ethnicity southern european 1.4 percent and then it seems that most of them were from iberia iberia means spain and portugal further further down the page there is another um kind of a, a little timeline here showing that this iberian ancestor was some came into our line somewhere in the 1700s and this was fascinating to us because we did not know about this particular connection and it was before the paper trail kind of started for us which was around 1800 so we were really curious about this particular Iberian ancestor and I started to do a lot of research into the connections for this on the paper trail side of it and it was a complete waste of time this is the 2017 results for that relative. Let's take a look at the current 2023 results for the same person. Uh, 23andMe, they've updated their interface, but the basic idea is the same. You can see who your, ancestor, your ancestors are, and look at this, 99.9% .9 British and Irish, which, by the way, corresponds with exactly uh, what the paper trail shows us. A all of our people, they came from the, the British Isles, as far as we know. So the Iberian connection is nowhere to be seen currently uh, and it was really really frustrating when I checked in on 23andMe and all of a sudden that disappeared and here's what's going on uh, 23andMe and Ancestry and all of these other services when they do ethnicity estimates they're using a model based on samples of real people that they have who come from certain areas and they use these models to extrapolate where your ancestors might come from the 2017 era model somehow found that um, you know we had this southern european connection to spain and portugal the current model which has been updated doesn't have doesn't have that anymore it the, the uh basically the dna for the relative does not match those reference populations any longer um, and that's fine i'm glad to i'm glad that 23andme and ancestry they update these reference populations from time to time but what a huge waste of time it was when we first saw that to see this pop up, see an estimate saying that, oh, this, this ancestor was in our tree in the 1700s, and then go down multiple rabbit holes trying to figure out who, uh, who this connection was and where they came from, and if there was any paper research to, to back it up. It was a huge waste of time for me, and I learned a very valuable lesson. And that is, if you're looking at ethnicity estimates, and there's a very tiny percentage from a certain area, do not accept that as gospel. Oftentimes, these reference models, they may have some inaccuracies based on low sample sizes, and this is particularly true for people from certain parts of the world where there aren't many samples at all, and you might see these mysterious um, groups of people popping up in your, in your DNA tree uh, who actually may be a bit of a ghost because the, basically it means that the model is not that sophisticated and these kind of fringe populations are showing up. If you look on social media for people that do DNA, DNA genealogy or genetic genealogy, you'll see v many similar complaints about this. Oh, you know, Ancestry just updated their reference model and I was 46% uh, uh, Norwegian before and now I'm only 23%. And then all these other groups are popping up as well. So be very, very careful with, with these um, genetic eth ethnicity tests. Sometimes they're not what they seem, and I learned that the hard way. For more information on genealogy and also to see more of my thoughts on, um, uh, on researching genealogy and tips, go to easygenie.org and click on blog. I have lots more information about that. And also my site, we have um, some charts, including free PDFs that you can download to help with your research. Thanks so much for watching.